Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another Infinity Nikki video and in today's video I'm going to be previewing 450 plus different items, literally every item that's currently in the game. I don't have everything obtained right now but we can look at them in the compendium so I want to give a little close up. So this video is more for like the hardcore fans that want to know every little <laughs> item, every little detail that there's available so I kind of want to catalog that right now in case it changes in the future. Maybe that'll be fun to look back on when we're in the future and maybe the full release comes around. If you're new to my channel, I make a bunch of fashion game videos and of course Nikki <laughs> has to be one of them. I have a whole playlist with let's plays, things you can do, tons of different Nikki videos if you want to check those out first or also after this one of course. And without further ado, let's get into today's video. <laughs> Before I'm going to show everything, a quick PSA for the people who are wondering, is there a release date yet? No, right now there's no release date of the recording. Might be somewhere this year, might be next year, I have no idea. Second of all, how are you playing right now? I'm playing the closed beta, you had to sign up for this before. Right now you are unable to just download the game, so maybe if there's another beta, make sure to keep an eye out on their socials. And lastly, what platform is going to release on? PC, mobile, iOS and Android, where you can already pre-sign up and also for PlayStation 5. With that out of the way, let let me show you the compendium. This is basically a catalog of all the items. You can get items like this one from doing pools. You can get items from crafting. You can get items just from chests. There's like a bunch of single items. There are only like, I think a handful, like maybe 15 different outfits that are complete outfits. And then there are a bunch of just like random things. I don't know if there's ever going to be like a set for those. I think they're definitely going to have a lot of just one one-off items everywhere but there are some really cute ones in there and i feel like they've added a bunch since the last beta so i think it'll be fun to check it out so if you go to the menu you see the companion here next to glow up and in the companion you basically have a ranking based on how many items you have so right now this account has 170 out of the 640 um whole collections um, but there's only like 450 items I counted, okay? You can get a rating every time you get a few new items and it will add a score to it. As you can see, look, it's going up. And then for some certain items, you will get a higher score. I'm just not sure. I think it might have to do with like your overall character ranking, but I don't think it does a boost. I'm not sure what it does, but all right, it's here and he's cute. One thing you can get is when you level your uh, rating here, you get like gems and stuff in return. But I don't think it does anything for the score, but I mean, free gems is free gems and there's some free pools and look there's like the banners and stuff for your profile so it goes up pretty high and i'm looking at it what yeah you can all the different banners and then the banners as you can see they have a little background profile that's basically based on all of these different tabs so if you go to the companion itself you have all of these different ones you got eight different ones and they have all like a different type of background i don't understand the sorting i've tried to get what's going on Th like there's random items there's random set i don't know if it's based on like style but it doesn't seem to be so without further ado let's get into previewing again this is going to be for the nikki kind of enthusiast because i'm going to go up quite a detail hopefully uh, one of the outfits i cannot show unfortunately i think this is going to be the red torn dress that you get in the tutorial in the beginning i think that's what it is i think with the hair and with the butterflies but i'm not quite sure correct me if i'm wrong all right then a second one is a whimsical piece so these are two different sets we can view them individually but let's have a look. So this one is Rebirth Wish. You can get this from Kylo the dragon if you give him the little purple orbs you see flying around and you can redeem for it. I don't think this is my star armor, I'm gonna be honest, but <laughs> the dress is kind of cute. So one thing to know about some of these outfits, they do have recolors. So as you can see here on the side, you have a little tab and there is like a little clover and this is like clover petal number one and this one is petal number two. They have like something with the pictures, okay? They're kind of, they're kind of crushed, so just get over that okay but the glowing up is another menu that we have and you can boost things if you press n on keyboard here you have like a whole different menu so for each of these there are some die calls already available so a lot for the ability alpha but also for some like unique ones so this one here has a really really pretty green version and like i said it's a clover with four so i'm expecting there to be at least more two more dice but that's going to be expensive probably to get but it's really cool all right so this one is, is quite cute i like this one better than the green one i think i will also quickly show the individual pieces for these i think so we have a little daisy earring we have a super frilly lace hat a cute little hair bow i think you can style some of these um hair pieces that look like they're in the ponytail if you're not wearing a tied up hairstyle i think it will just go on the head 
as like a side clip or in the back like a bow that lays flat. I think that's what's going on. Some very cute Lolita shoes with small little details in the front. We have a little cape. Oh, of course, our dress. The hairstyle for this one is adorable. Short, curly, and then a little ponytail on the side. Too cute, too cute. We have and frilly socks. Then our other outfit is this one, Hometown Breeze. This is not a ability outfit either, but it does have another dye color, which is in blue. I guess I'll just have to show these if I can in here because the picture looks so bad crushed. I don't know what to say, but this is the blue version. I also think I prefer this one. I really like the hair and yeah, it's kind of cute. This one is more icy looking. This one is more fall themed, I guess, with the colors. So having a close up for this one, I think this is a craftable set. Her earring are two little birds here. Oh, this is like a stone feel outfit. So these are the silver gills, I think. The bracelet is really cute. It has a, sorry if I said cute a lot this video. Her bracelet has a ribbon tied to it and a, and a dainty ribbon on the side. Her hair is a flower crown, but more of a like fall theme type item. So I think the, um, the grain here is really nice incorporated. Another one of these bows, again, if her hair is down, it will look different, but you can probably still wear it. Some cute little shoes with a small heel. Then the dress is very, yeah, see, it says Harvest Cup Festival, so it's very harvest theme. I just wish the dress was one length. I don't know if I like it, but I really like the details in front. It's like music notes, ribbons, very cute. And then the hair is an absolute win for me. I just like it. It's simple, long hair with braids, so it is always, always a win. And our socks are just simple white ones with some details on it. So this is our first tap done tribute to Radiance. Divine Thought has a lot of more items. So the first one here, um, again, the I don't know what the collections mean. This is Design Changes the World. This is the best era with the whim of stylists of their design. The world is being reshaped. What does that mean? What does it mean? I don't know. So starting up, we have the Mermaid Ice Bloom lips. This is from the Gotcha, the butterfly one, I think. So that's why I'm getting confused. Like, why is it not part of the set? I guess you can claim it afterwards, but like it's part of the whole thing. Then our next one, Deep Blue Companion. These are some jeans with an awful cut. They need to make them either long or make them short, but like this length does not work for me. But if you like casual outfits, this might be great for that. Then we have some items I don't own, but we can still see it pretty well. Patchwork pants. So these are some shorts that flare out and underneath they have a little design. Then this one is Spinning Mood. I really like this. A very royally looking Lolita skirt with Deep Blue, a really beautiful deep decal and at the bottom it has like a little white ribbon. Here on the side you can see where you can get everything so once it releases and you want a specific item you can kind of look for it. So here it's like in a chest but who knows which one. I'm pretty sure a bunch of people are going to be cataloging everything where they find everything and hopefully eventually we'll have a map with all of the items. I think for this one it says the same. And then our last one I really don't like these boots. They're high boots with a stiletto heel I think. Oh no, a little bit chunkier heel but the top is like a like like distressed. It looks like a little scarecrow material. I don't know. I really don't like these. Um, but some of these are kind of fake. What where you can get it? But made for durable resilient plastic with untrimmed edges, wild in style. I guess that describes it well. Moving on to the next one, a rising star. We have the backpack you get in the beginning from the tutorial. I think this one is a gem. And I definitely 100 percent think if they make merch of this backpack, it will do so well because not even Nikki fans can like this bag. Write it down, <laughs> right? that down Nikki write it down next up a plump fruit so her hair is tied up long hair that's curled and luxurious with bountiful fruit harvest brim is this the fruit harvest hair I don't think so and this is from also from the pools I think it says here um, but she just has bangs and her hair is up and next up sunburn blockers you can get this one from the heart of infinity I think you can redeem for it they're cute there's some simple arm warm it's not my favorite color but I'm hoping later on we also get dyes and like glow up versions of random items like these because this one in white or pastel pink i'm just saying radiant heat some simple socks with frillies on it then we have oceanic oceanic hero is that how you say it <laughs> this is a pretty um denim skirt with some fish at the bottom and then on the side it has kind of a lacing and a belt with it as well and a really pretty pink ribbon on the side i think this one is pretty cute i think it would be nicer without the fishies as much as i like them it's a bit much but 
who am I to judge, right? Then we have some simple sneakers and also some classic curves, elegant shoes with an open backing. And of course, Nikki's original outfit. So we have a her dress, her original hair, I think is what her default hair is. And of course, the one that she kind of sponsored in the, the original hair in this game. I really like this. The ribbon with the bow, it's, it's my favorite. I love it. I'm glad that it's default because I have it straight away. Uh, of course, her heart-shaped shoes and some socks with snowflakes on it. The necklace, they have two categories. So there's necklaces and there's chokers. So I think this is the choker. And lastly, we have some simple black tights with some purple shorts, twilight hour, some really... <laughs> Wait, let me... Can you see it right here? It has like a little rim like a little fuzzy rim. They're bold. They're bold, very, very much bold with also some type of heel and a buckle in the front and a little logo and a red stripe. Like it's, it's eye catching. Okay. We have some really, oh, I haven't not seen everything yet. These creepers, are these creepers? No, they're Mary Jane likes. I don't know. These are very cute. I love it very modern looking with a skirt that probably goes with this whole outfit. So yeah, I think this seems like a whole outfit, but it's not combined. A skirt is adorable. I mean, I guess more of like a skirt. So we have, it looks like fake leather underneath and then a wrap skirt around with a cute little pattern on it and a belt with a buckle. Then the socks I think are sparkly and then the top. Y'all gonna love this one, right? That's what I'm saying. I think this is all one set and this top is really cute. What can I say? It has uh, all these straps going around, buckles, black, just got the whole thing going. Next up, we have some cuffs with a checkered print and a dress with a lot of lacy kind of details at the bottom and floral. Kind of hard to see on this one. A little bow, some fake buttons, and then some white straps. I don't think I like this dress. Mm, more pajama-y. Then we have the scrunchie. I really like this one. I've pulled it many times already, so I've seen it quite a lot, but I think it's really, really cute. Same goes for the star hair clip pin. So it has three stars, one really tiny one. You can even see it right there. Subtle, cute, some short black hair again. Love to see some dyes for hair because then you can just use stuff more often. We have this really cute safari type top, I would almost say, with the sage green and then some brown and some teal green. Like it looks very jungly. Going with these pants. Look at this little side panel. It seems to have like a fruit on the side and plants growing out of them. A belt with again a buckle. Although these are um, suspenders, but one is off the shoulder. That's pretty cool. I have not seen this item either, but I guess it's from the Heart of Infinity. And I think this is again part of the set. So the last item would be a handheld, which is flowers. And these are so cute. These are so cute. I wonder what that will look like if you're wearing that while Nikki's walking, if she keeps holding it. We shall see. Eternal Harmony is a hair piece. This is a five star. I think this is from the... No, it's not. Then it wouldn't be in here. I thought it was from a special set, but I don't know why it's a six star. Proof and Styling Prowess. I think this is after you defeat certain amounts of bosses <laughs> in styling battles. As silly as that sound. It's pretty. I like it. Same is for the brooch. I don't know the name, but this one is also gold. A bow with the same golden flower in the middle, the rose, and a lot of pretty little details. So very pretty. Moving on to our next category, which is Wandering Traveler. So we'll see if there's a lot of traveling outfits in here. Here. starting off strong with a sun hat with blue details then verdant freedom which is a cute little top i think you can buy this in the store or it's with pools i don't remember i like it it has a really bold color little ruffles on the side little ruffles at the bottom but not too much it's casual but cute you can style it with those green those brown shorts that we saw earlier that would be quite nice a real safari hat with some glasses on it socks with sharkies or fishies on it so i guess it goes with that skirt that we saw we have this really pretty green top with very open chest but still covered shoulders little sweetheart neckline and the collar. I quite like the orange accents in here to come back in the buttons as well. Then we have Peace with Birds, which is a hat. Oh, look, wait, I don't know if you can see it on the little preview above my head, but there's like a little bird poop on top of the hat. That is so funny. Oh, and it has like little specks on the side. That is so cute. So a bucket hat with bird shit on it. Oh, I love that. Including the unspoken white stains. That is so funny. I can't wait to get that. Uh, we have some sneakers once again, some simple black tights, a torn 
purple t-shirt. I always have such a hard time liking these torn shirts because I feel like they're so fake looking. This one also does not look the realest, but okay. And then lastly here, oh, it's not lastly, we have the mermaid's glow. So this is the makeup. If you want to see the makeup previews on different skin tone, I did show that in my pool video. So make sure to check that um, because unfortunately the preview is only going to be on the fair skin one. We have the lenses, which is one of my favorites, I think, together with the pink, this one <laughs> with the pink lenses. I think these are really my favorite. We have the clutch purse little suitcase mini thing. This one is so nice looking. It has a lot of details. It's giving kind of a Louis Vuitton pattern a little bit with the little, oh, you can barely see it. It's very small. A bracelet with a snowflake on it, which is very sparkly. This oversized blazer and on the cuffs, you can't really see it. Maybe in the, in the preview, right? <laughs> Underneath here, it's like orange cuffs. I think it goes with the rest of the other orange. I think we got some an orange top and orange shoes i think they sort of set it's quite nice it has some details here subtle on the side and some studs on the opening of the blazers and some really big buttons which i don't know about that of course some um, socks more with a yellow trim and yellow toe and some pink and blue details with some stars on it and then lastly in this category is a sweater which is kind of boho style almost because of how the ribbon goes into the hood itself with little pom-poms on it and then the decal is some tumblr looking picture Expedition souvenir, I guess that makes sense with the, the camera. I think it's even Momo's camera, which is a nice detail. So that's the, this category. Moving on to our last one here is the birth of a brand. So these are going to be maybe modern items. So the first one, Crybaby Fest, is more of like a baseball tee. I don't like it. Those kind of things are not my style. I like the color though, and I like the, the decal on the front. Next up, Noir Creed 02, some sporty black pants. I like that they have quite the mix of modern and vintage type clothing. And if it's modern, it's like also cute, but also more of tomboyish, like cool looking styles. Again, that's not up my alley, but I feel like there's going to be a lot of people that do want to dress up Nikki more casual like this. So then my favorite item, I'm not going to lie. I, this hat has been my main personality trait <laughs> ever since I found it in game. You can just buy it at some random guy uh, that sells it in the, the first town. I'll, he also sells some sunglasses. So hopefully we'll see that soon. I love wearing it. It's so silly. I, I, I'm, my character's going to be wearing this all the time. Then in another shop that's kind of in the first town you can already buy these two little hair bows i mean bows bows always have been easy easy fix for me if it's bows or butterflies or mermaids or like oceany themes like you you're just a win in my book same as for this one orange bow simple cute classy uh, a hoodie i think this goes very well with the pants that we just looked at it's kind of like a little tracksuit type with the gray stripes and then the inside of the hood is also gray subtle cute i like it i think those two you can also buy from this random guy oh maybe that's what it categorizes on at least for this category. Next up is a little anime kind of top with dirt on it. The description doesn't seem to help me with this, but it's kind of like an original, it's a Japanese uh, school outfit with gold. I think it's navy and dark red. I don't know what the stain is about. I don't. Then this one is steaming skewer. So a simple white t-shirt with a decal of steaming skewers on there. Nothing too fancy. We have a necklace with a wish bottle on it. Again, you can buy that i think at the beginning is part of the story if you haven't read it then my other favorite item do the top hat with the sunglasses if you want to be a real fashionista so funny <laughs> wish bottle earrings i'm not the biggest fan of these but they have a nice score in the elegant category and we have another simple t-shirt that is orange but with a crying cloud so i guess there's a little bit of lore to that one too some purple what do you call those sandals almost with a platform i think the pattern i think that's either lavender bushes or they're roses but they're pretty cute as you can see, they have like strappies in the back. I guess that's how we got a preview it from now on with matching earrings. Oh, they're, uh, yeah, I think that's all lavender. It's called Leaven Fringes in the game, but basically lavender. And also with a matching bangle bracelet set of two. Some socks with a little floral decal on the side, which you can't really see in any of these pictures, but it has a bigger flower on the side and it goes down in like kind of a vein. A watch with, I think it's just a stripe pattern of light and dark orange, but it might be something else. And then the strap is like a leathery brown. Then this is from the this shop if you go into stonewood she sells like a bunch of skirts with all the same length i think just like different prints so this one is i think really deep blue with a little triangle print at the bottom the 
brown one has a brown dark brown strap and then the, the skirt itself has this fake pattern on it i don't i think it's like a geometric design i don't think it's supposed to be anything specifically this one is white and also has a design at the bottom and a darker shade of gray same as on the top here this one is yeah they're all the same item right yeah <laughs> this one is dark green with purple i don't like these colors together these don't work for me and this one might be the the most fine for me it seems to be a slight lilac color with again i think it has a white pattern of either probably the lavender on it then this is real oh i love that look how real those jeans look so these are um suspenders or what do you call that i forgot the english word but it's one of those where you like those garden pants basically but and one is off the shoulder oh it's not it's just designed like that oh i don't know if i like that so as you can see this one goes off the shoulder but there's no other strap that's falling off it's just one strap Strap. but the jeans look so real i love the dent and how it kind of flares out to the bottom oh that's a shame and oh i love that oh that looks amazing so this top it looks crocheted to me it's crochet style with ribbons on the side it's more dense here at the arm but it still puffs out and then like a beautiful open collar that's so beautiful wow okay a win moving on to category number three along footsteps these only have two with the first one being the end of an era people no longer expect miracles they following curtain heralds a new start i don't know if these are gonna have something in common maybe who knows so first one is a skirt with pastel green and a really big bow on the front it would have been cute if the bow was on the side but i like the the <laughs> it's giving a chevron you know the 2014 vibe a little bit second is fingerless gloves these kind of Zelda looking with the deep green brownish and two buckles on each that go around i would almost say with some matching shoes with this so these look very uncommon these, these look like they would rub your heels but they are brown very classy very shiny with thin shoelaces the i think matching top with this is very high up in color so you can have the lace poking out on the sleeves and then the lace poking out on the neck with a buckle bell in the front and it's all the way closed up and there's some sort of design which I think is kind of looking like the, uh, the outside you can see here is kind of the same design arch looking building and the hair is a braid again see the little preview right here it's quite a long braid i like how the the pieces are sticking out it's very cute and subtle looking another little baby hat with a bow and a blue jewel on the front a beret with a butterfly which seems not to be fake leather it seems to be more of a uh you know what maybe it is fake leather it looks like a sturdy material if that makes any sense then third and dance is mm, i think all these arms are not really <laughs> myself so far this is a green skirt that kind of flares out and then it's longer at the back than in the front and kind of like buns up with a pretty interesting belt here in the front it's not ugly <laughs> That's how I like to describe some things. I don't think this one is too bad. Um, I think this might be the matching top, which I think is a little bit more cutesy. So yeah, it's a very wide collar with a bow in the front, some frills on the waist and on the shoulders with yellow and then purple, bluish little wildflowers, it seems, on there. I quite like this. Another pair of sunglasses, but this time it's put on the head. I can see a killer combination of having both on potential is is potentially and the frame of this one is silver or it's like a light purple i think some flame earrings called cinders though the picture as you can see they look more dark and in the the preview they look silver so i wonder which one's going to be the final version i hope the black ones i think that's more cool looking because it goes with this really cool i think it's a skirt because it's like a fake skirt because it has shorts underneath that goes halfway it's like a pleated tennis skirt with a really cool dark print on it and some change in the same flame you can see here on the chain on the side and some some chains around here this skirt is really cool i see people feeling this is a favorite item then blazing emblem is a arm what do you call that like an arm patch kind of that goes around the upper arm here with a logo on it and last but not least we have ragey and rockling i don't want to hear no criticisms about this this is based on the first boss rocky stony what's his name it's so cute i love it it looks like one of those shark um, hoodies that you have to zip up and the sleeves are really long with the long hands on it look you can see it also a little bit that it has like the gloves are built into this i think this one is adorable then the other one is when the stars stars fall in a world of gods is teetered on the edge but stars 
have still lit up the night sky. I, I can't put two and two together. Oh, this one only has three items. So this one is winter beacon, which is just a little hair clasp that I don't know if that's the right position for these kind of things. And then the logo, it's giving the Rudo, you know, but then like a different shape. <laughs> interesting second of all we have starry tango some heels i can't scroll but this is basically what it looks like i have some jewels on the front and then the rest is just elegant black shoe and then lastly is starlit night with a galaxy top hat with a bow what else could you want i don't know if i like this but i feel like it'll be a good top hat contender you know switching it up sometime interesting i hope the galaxy design moves inside of it that will look nice. Then Bounty of Nature. When souls meet nature, they collectively feel the pulse of all living beings. Let's start off with waves meet fish. Fish leap from water, swishing their tails, swimming onto people's new clothes. These are going to be fish themed. Undersea encounter our little dolphin. Dolphin or whale earrings. They're cute. Simple, cute, classy. No, not classy, but cute. Same as for Sharky Bite, which is a hair tie, kind of like a fist that kind of like clamps around the ponytail. I'm not sure if you can wear this one without having your hair up. I'm not sure. And the last one will be Surfmaster, a cute sweater. Again, could be subtle merch. I'd buy it. I love fish. I love Nikki. Easy win. Just a simple sweater with a fish decal that's like swimming with the with the air flowing behind it. The wind and insects. Insects aren't just stars of nursery rhymes. They also make guest appearances on people's clothes. These are going to be insect type things. Cypher bracelet. I think it's either like a moth. <laughs> a moth or it's just jewels in the shape of triangles. I really can't tell. Next up, sunny wind chime, which is a little hair clip, which either looks like a little flower or half of a butterfly, I guess the way you look at it. From looking at the preview up here, it more looks like a flower, but when you wear it, I always thought that was a butterfly. I don't know. These shorts are really cute. Operation Summer. They are simple white ones with some details, buckle on the front, chain going around with some elements on it, and then a pretty big belt with some floral elements as well. Starlet Companions is purple hair clips is a set of two. I think this one is supposed to be dragonfly kind of Coraline style and the other one just a simple regular hair clip with a star on it. I don't know why the reflection is making it so bright but as you can see below they're kind of like a darker purple than they appear to be. And the last one here is Gleaming Wilderness which also I think looks like one of the bugs that's kind of hang on the tree a bell bell something a cicada or something like that i like it when it has the little pearls that go up on the other side of the ear next up the new animal friends so these are probably going to be yeah designed to inspire by animals capturing marvelous encounters between living beings i really like this one superstar vibes so it's just a hair ribbon with a bow on the back at the bottom it's cute simple it'll do well for casual outfits next up dot grip sentiments so these are see-through sock with some white dots on it but you can see it better in the preview than it looks right here on the sock so i don't know the, one of the cutest sweaters i'll say so it's like a sweater with rounded puff sleeves at the bottom a really big peter pan collar with ruffles on it and then the decal is i think a lamb or a baby deer but i think it's a lamb with really big ears it's one of the um creatures that they made for Infinity Nick. So I like that they incorporated those in the outfits, but it's supposed to be some sort of lamb. I, I really like this one. I'm hoping to get it by the time. Sky Monarch Catcher. Okay, you can't really see it from either the preview or this one, but it's just a simple baseball jacket on the front. It has a little bird, but the back has like a bigger bird decal. Again, this is also part of a set. You can pull this from the coin gotcha. Same as with this skirt. It has a little bird on the front. It's kind of like a little, little set going together. It's also like a completed one and the last we here is galaxy's desire which is another pin which seems to be i think it's a swan or another swan type bird that's in nikki with a little star on the side so then we have finally some real outfits to preview again this is in living together nature accompanies us embraces us and eliminates us starting off with the first one this is these are all going to be i think ability outfits most of them this is wind of purity so this is to cleanse things it's um it's not my favorite, but I like the hair and the shoes. I think that's my favorite part. I'll kind of go quickly through these because I think most people have already seen these in detail a hundred times from other pictures and stuff. But it's mostly nature inspired. The tattoo is kind of a cool detail. Not everyone might see the first time. The hair piece is also kind of pretty. And I like that the sleeves are a separate item. So you can kind of mix and match that later with other things. The Bye Bye Dust, I love. 
the recolor off. <laughs> I don't know why the picture is squished, okay? It's it's more of a Dalmatian print. You have this kind of cat that's kind of this pattern. I think that's what it's inspired on. I really, really like the recolor for it, but the originals also. The style is kind of cute. I just don't know if I like the bonnet too much with this fit, but she comes with some classy short hair. And the overall outfit is kind of like short and fluffy. The socks are kind of messy looking, but very frilly looking, if you will. Next up, Afternoon Shine. This is the animal catching one. She has a really cute hat in the back. This hat, does you cannot wear on your hat before you ask. This is a specific back item, so you can wear a hat and have a hat in the back if you wanted to, but you're not able to actually wear the hat. So it comes with some hair that's in two twin tails. And we have a top that has a color of a butterfly. I really like these overalls. They're so, so cute. The, one of the favorite items. I love bees. Bees are so cute. Uh, shoes with also small little bees on it, a hair clip, and again, the back piece, and then a little pin with flowers on it. Next up, Rippling Serenity. This is the fishing outfit. The original is not as cute as the dye color because this one is more of a dark theme and the pants have like a galaxy. I'll show this at the end because then I'll go back to the menu to quickly go through those for the people who want to see better up close. But this is the original, the fishing one. It has been confirmed that some that the default items are not going to be um, the only outfit. So, for example, this is the fishing outfit. If you dye the fishing outfit to the darker version, you are able to equip that as your main fishing one. So, anytime you go fishing, it will automatically switch to the color that you selected. But they are also adding other outfits that you'll be able to equip as such. For example, the fishing one will also be this one. Look, the title shark. This one is from the gacha. It says here on the side fishing, so you can choose which one you equip. And then this one also has dye color. Oh, watermelon with the watermelon hat. I had not seen this, you guys. I had, that is so cute. Stop. Okay, well then this can also be your fishing outfit instead of like the original, which is way cuter. <laughs> Don't even get me started. I didn't even see the watercolor version. So this one is all shark theme. I absolutely love it. I like ocean theme, but the other one kind of like missed the mark for me, but this one does it way better with the garter. This one is more um, tomboyish because it's also not a dress. It's tops and bottom. The hair is cute, short, but it's still like tied up. The shorts are quite cute. The socks, they look like they have teeth on it and then the top is the star of the show right with this part here this part here adorable i love this set so much and we also have sweet jazz nights which is not even an ability outfit so i wonder why it's in here maybe because it's animal inspired so i think she is supposed to be a sewing girl with bib coons on it which is a character in the game as you can see it's like playing with the yarn in the back here and there's like baby bib coons which i think is supposed to be a tanuki or a raccoon again i still don't know the difference between the two but yeah this is like a bibcoon outfit and the cute part about this like all the details i will show you up close in the items but there's also a dye color for this i don't like i don't like polka dots i think that's what it is for me i prefer the original probably this one's really cute because it has so many little details so here in the earrings little puff ball with a bibcoon and a heart the bracelet is a scrunchie and then have a sewing kit almost on the side. The beret also has a big pin on it, a bow and some frillies. A hair bow, a hair clip, of course, not to forget. The shoes also have Bibcoon inspiration. Look how cute. It's got little ears on here and a little fuzzy on the front with a bow. Like, can you make it any cuter? The dress is so well made. I like this dress. It's very much in style. And also the hair, I think, is one of my favorite. She has loose hair but it's tied back and it has the scrunchies I, the, the essence of this outfit is so nice and lastly the socks which are simple with blue brown and on the side it has the little florals so those were some of the outfits again if you want to see the recolors better i'm going to show that in the end of this video last up here on this category is flower and fruit basket a lot of separate items. Fishy Fantasy is a good one to start off with. It's a denim skirt with a white belt. And then here underneath the pockets, there are fishes swimming sw <laughs> swimming up the skirt, basically. And the white belt with the bows, I think, are really nice. So this is another item I, I'm very excited to get my hands on. This top is also pretty. It has 
see-through top and then it flares out into a gradient of purple with blue with of course ruffles again and then on the top we have a rim of dragonflies with some sparkles i think this one is very magical looking earrings tangy sweetness is just i think supposed to be like a fruit hanging down somewhere shaky branch is a hair clip but it goes on top instead of like in the back so i guess that's good to know and then this is supposed to be i think an orange or um, what's that fruit called in Nikki? It's kind of like an orange gloom fruit or something. I forgot the name. I guess that's what it's inspired by. And uh, this one is orange sun, a bracelet with a big flower and a leaf on the side with of course a matching hat. And these seem to be pearls or beads and two white flowers on there. A matching skirt as well would be green, goes pretty far down. It looks very similar to the other ones we've seen. I don't think this one is too much special, but it's all right. Then this crown is another... Why is this a two-star? I don't get it. <laughs> it's a two-star rarity, but it's so pretty. I love the little dangly. It makes it your outfit's gonna look way more majestic with it. The crown with the layer, very, very cute. But it doesn't even say where to get this. I don't even think this is in the game yet. Same as for these shoes. There are like little sandal heels. As you can see, there's no backing to it. With the toe being kind of in a bow shape with a rim of pearls. Next up, the... Oh, sunflower socks dark blue with half of it being orange with flowers on it with stripes on it it's too much it's not for me then these tights are white with i think these have yes roses on it kind of a pattern really cute it's gonna look well with a lot of outfits same as with these golden hoop earrings with a leaf and i think also roses on it then this dress is also really really pretty i think this is a blueprint oh no it's a chest item flares out has layers i think she's wearing bloomers underneath here then her top is really pretty because it has a sweetheart neckline with a bow and then it kind of laces up in the neck but it's not too constricting because this part is half see-through a cute little puffy sleeve but not too puffy arms flare out and besides that it also has like a subtle rose pattern on it what else could you want okay fragrant bravery i'm excited to have this dress rosy shadow is a cropped denim i don't think it's the top i think it's going to be jacket but ruffles i don't know if i like this too much um it's just simple denim but on one of the colors i think it has it looks like an apple but i think it's a rose looking at the uh, text here so then we have a top this one's quite cute kind of t-shirt style or at least the material what seems to be embroidered on a, a little flower that's falling and then the top has the bow ruffles on the side i think ruffles at the bottom quite they're very much a big fan of the ruffly ruffly thing this one is really cute winding branches it's a hair piece which is seems to be a leather brown and then has a ribbon wrapped around it and then tied on the bow on the side gloves fingerless but it comes in layers <laughs> it's like half leathery dark again matching with the bow i think those will go really cute together with underneath some sort of thinning material with white and stripes all right i can't blame nikki for this specifically but any fashion game i play they always struggle with the hat sizes and this hat is too big it's too big maybe it'll look better if she has her hair down but this looks silly all right but it's a beanie knitted gray light beige and then on the little decal here i think it's a daisy like a white flower with a small leaf and of course we have a matching dress with the same flower on the front surrounded by frillies and bows and then it's a tight sweater dress with a pretty gradient i quite like this one i, I can see this one the hat i don't think i can see that so much that was the fourth chapter moving on to everyone's wish we field starting off with Wishfield's school uniforms oh it's only one again and the, the picture gets kind of squished i think this one has dyes too the bow for this one goes so hard it's so beautiful it's like a kind of shiny satiny material you can already see it here a little bit and it's quite big so if you're using it on nikki and she's walking you can see it like visibly in the back because it's like important because that's what you're looking at most of the time when you're playing so this is like a whole schoolgirl outfit same as with the shoes little tied up uh, but this one has more of a heel on it this skirt is a little bit shorter than the other long ones we saw but still quite long dark green very rich color with golden knee stripes and at the bottom here a pretty detail with a white flare underneath these socks have i think little buttons on the side and they seem to be a very desaturated shade of green the top is very formal it's very <laughs> very choked up at the top but i guess it matches i just don't like this kind of bib style personally 
but it fits the outfit that we're currently looking at so it has a little frillies and do that's on it and then the top has the green and then you can't really see it but her cuffs are the same shade of green so i guess it kind of all comes together and then the last part is of course the hair it's long it's brown it's wavy and then the she got bangs with two little braids and i think on the side we see little pearls small detail you can barely even see it's like one pixel you see it right above my mouse here subtle detail i do like it but give us dye colors because i want it to be my hair color so <laughs> then tales of the world is next also two outfits refined grace is a craftable set you get quite early in the game i think it's more of like an office outfit very random to me but who knows i guess they have to go to the office too the hair is such a win it has so much volume it's like a i love that messy look when it's done right, not too messy, but she has little strings falling out here. It's kind of wavy, a lot of volume here in her fringe going all the way up. I think the, the color is also really, really gorgeous. The top here, it's kind of asymmetric because it goes over a little bit more to the one side, but still kind of like office looking. Same as for a simple, I think it's a white blazer with two buttons on the front and kind of like scrunched up, but it's only short sleeve with a small pattern on the folded cuff. Matching pants, again, these are very office pants, <laughs> with a small black belt. And I think it's kind of an offset white. I think it's like an ivory, maybe. The shoes are a little bit more fancy looking because they are subtle heels, but they have two little chains on each side with little sparkles on it. Pretty neat. And the accessories are these earrings with a jewel in it and then a little sphere around it. And then the bracelet is a, is a stack of a square watch with a dainty bracelet with the pearls on it as well. I don't know. I think the hair for this is my favorite part. <laughs> I don't think it's my favorite outfit, but I guess it, it got to be a formal wear too. Then the other one is searching for dreams. I love it. Wait a minute. We just saw that, no? Oh, wait, that's interesting. Okay, so yes, you can see she's wearing the scrunchie. We already looked at the scrunchie, but when I go to few pieces, it's not here on the side. So I'm expecting when the game releases, they're probably going to switch around some stuff because... This doesn't seem right, right? Especially also with the makeup, I don't know. So for this whole set, we have the necklace, which is silver with a star. The shoes are really pretty. They are very kind of uniformy type with the bow. And then it looks like a normal star, but also kind of looks like a sea star and a really small buckle. As you can see, it kind of goes up with a small strap to connect to the shoe. The jacket, I don't like. <laughs> It should have done long sleeves for this, but it's see-through. I think it has stars on it as well, slightly sparkly. And the dress, I like it. I like it when the dress cut off like that high and it kind of flares out after that. I think it's very flattering. Ruffles on a thick two straps and then the center has a crisscross with ruffles on the side and then it goes from dark purple to light purple with at the bottom another lace trim and more stars. You see a theme building up here. The hair is really cute, I think. It has some light purple in there. I think I see gradient, but I could be wrong. It's just two little space buttons at the bottom and then just curl pieces in the front. And the socks for the set are kind of simple. The same, I think, seems to be a gradient with stars and more ruffles. Yeah, this is uh, yeah, look, as you can see, it gets a little bit lighter in the hair at the bottom a little bit only. I like it. This is another favorite of mine. Then Remarkable Ambition is our next category. We only have two outfits for this. The Fully Charged Electrical Repair Outfit is another ability one. The default color for this is not my favorite. I really prefer the dyed version, which <laughs> I'll show later, but it's more of a um, teal, pink and white, more of like a retro vibe to it than this one has to me. I This is not my style, but the outfit fits the ability that it has. So we have short green hair, the suit is like a zip-on suit with an elastic band and some electrical repair parts. Like she looks like a mechanic, mechanic outfit basically. But the green comes back here in a small detail. So most of it is orange and light yellow. The shoes is the same, it's kind of like boots type with a thick platform, orange lacing, and then a orange and yellow strap here. The gloves have a logo on it and duo colored on both sides, which I think is really cool. And then the strap and then the, I guess the other, the part at the bottom, I like that I have different colors colors they go very well together especially this one in the other dye color i think i might use more often than this one it's just a color but i do like the shape that um we have these glasses because of course you gotta protect your eyesight when you're working mm, 
not the biggest fan. It's yellow glass. It doesn't look as yellow in the preview picture as it does in there. So I don't know if they're going to tweak that. It looks more orange and more subtle at the bottom here. And then the strap is also orange with the buckle accents being green. So that's our first one. And the other one is the Guards Resolve. This is not an ability outfit, but you do need it in the story. But you kind of just like, I'm not going to spoil anything, but you get like the blueprint for it basically right away. So you can make the whole thing. Ugh, I don't really like it. Her hair is in a bun here. Like a military police officer outfit. I don't see myself using these items. Some simple blue pants. The boots don't even get me started. What's going on? <laughs> They wear these low-cut boots with collars on it and then it goes up and has a buckle and then another collar like I don't even. Some simple white gloves and then a pin but this one goes in the middle instead of on the side so this one might be cute. Number six has four different categories. Everyone's Wish Filled Part 2. Happy Masterpiece has a bunch of different items. Light step, simple blue strappy heel with uh, light blue and then a uh, frilly white exit on the front. Then some of my favorite items, the candy waltz. I think this is from the like the three-star gotcha. So cute. <laughs> White shoes with a pink uh, heart on the front, on the side gold a clasp that's also gold like bottom. This one has to be my favorite shoe. It's very Lolita, it's very subtle. It will go well with love outfits I'm planning to make. Two straps on the front and the back has a really pretty bow. And again, the clasps and metal details are all gold, which is what I prefer. Then the lavender stripe socks. These are just <laughs> stripe socks with hard cutouts in the front with three little pearlies on the side. And then on the top here, we have the pink. These half see-through. Again, please refer to the picture here. They're more <laughs> dense at the bottom than at the top. They're more see-through, but you can't really see it here. They kind of just look like messy socks. These socks are leg warmers, not socks. I like leg warmers. They're kind of knitted. And then the top one is light yellow with a small detail, which I can't tell what it is. Probably a flower with a matching tight fitting t-shirt with a decal of, I think, a moth. It kind of looks like the badges you get after you're leveling up your stylist rank. It's the same vibe with almost a turtleneck type collar. I really like this one. That's really nice. Then for shorts, these are really cute too, with a little decal of... I don't know what that is. <laughs> I don't know, it's something in here. And then frillies. They don't seem to be pockets or a string, but the diesels are cute enough to just neglect that, I guess. And then the tennis hat has a little bow with a heart. Very cute. I'm excited to have this. Same is for this big sun hat. On the top, there are, I mean, you can see it on the inside too. It has flowers, but it's also on the top side. And then the back has a really big bow on it. It's quite cute. The three star hair here is purple, high tied up, bangs, long hair, frilly, easy win. This one also is cute. She kind of has a tied back with the two front pieces that are a little bit further back. They kind of hang loose, so it gives like a special effect. I like it. Again, long hair, simple, not too complicated. And then this hair tie, you can only wear if your hair is tied up, but it's kind of going with the tennis theme, I guess, because it looks like a tennis material. This hair bow is made of a lacy ribbon. I really like this one because it's very big. And I think this also works as a clip-on if you're not wearing a ponytail, which is nice. This jacket is kind of sporty looking. Puffy sleeves, the ruffles at the bottom, the big hood that kind of almost reaches towards the shoulder it's cropped with more ruffles and then nice part is the two is it light blue straps or ribbons that goes through the hood has little hearts on it i like that socks are white with blue with ribbons on the side and then we have a sporty top with also a bow and i can't tell what this is on the side but probably like some sort of heart because at the bottom here you have two hearts again this whole set is gonna is gonna go it's gonna that's gonna be good <laughs> That's gonna be good. That's so cute looking. I really like the, the sports bra for this. The next set is black hair, which is tied up on the side. And as you can see, it goes into a braid. Oh, it's in the back, it's not on the side. Well, it goes into a braid and then the bangs are kind of parted in the middle. Then we have a choker, which I think we already have some, but this one has holes in the front and then a clasp in the back. This top, really cute. It will go well with that red skirt that we saw. I can see an outfit being made here. It has used three different materials. The, the, the front seems to be like a thicker black material. Then this almost like a sheer type of top like mine is right now. And then the two straps go onto these big rings. I think this one is really unique. This is another favorite of mine. And then some black loafers. 
earrings with exclamation points. Warning, get yourself ready. I don't like these. <laughs> I don't like these. <gasps> oh, oh, I like this. I like this. So this is a cherry set, but instead of two cherries, one of them is a bow and it's made with gold with sparkle and the cherry is like see-through. I like that one. Goggles. I compared these to the ability outfit, but they're not the same. They're very similar, but I think I like these better and they kind of have a marble effect on the rim. A fest, red checkered fest. Don't like it, but it has quite a lot of like quilted material here. Nice pockets, four buttons, and then a white ribbon type embroidery. It looks well made. I just don't think it's my style. I would style it well. Mid calf height with dark brown and light brown details. A really pretty necklace with all of those like shells you always get on vacation. <laughs> kind of fits the vibe. Some orange fun stripes socks. I don't think I like these. Hair in a ponytail. This one seems to be quite short as you can see on the preview. It only goes like after a shoulder, you can't really see it here, but I'm thinking it's it's a shorter version. But at least it has a lot of volume on the top. These flowers, again, I think you can you can do either with a ponytail or without. So it's a surprise invitation. A sleeping mask called Heavy Eyelids on the front. It seems to have like the little lashes that the eyes is closed. It's so cute, so cute. And then we also with the go with the pajamas. We have pearly bird slippers. Don't even get me started. These are so cute. These are also inspired by a boss, and the the jewels is so cute and the little bird and like ugh, looks so well made too as you can see in the preview it even has like a little tail how adorable is that clothing store campaign has 70 items so uh <laughs> strap in for this one i think these are all the store items too that you can buy at marquee so maybe that'll be good to know earrings small hearts with bows and a gold detail other earrings will be these bigger looking floral blue studs these are bigger than the average ones we've seen so that's quite nice this military type 1920s looking dress i don't know what era this is uh, i don't like it <laughs> it has six buttons a strap and a open collar i just feel like it's missing something here i don't know some simple blue shorts or light wash denim. Quite like it. We have some more formal looking off white pants. Some tennis skirts. So we have a simple pink one and also a black one. For hair, this one is short, a built-in hair ribbon, but it kind of wraps around just kind of how does the default Nikki hair did with the bows and then the black ribbon. It's kind of the same vibe. I really, really like this one. And you can just buy it for coins. So don't forget to, to pick that one up. This one is black and straight with some hair at the front. This one is short with a fringe and then half up, half down with a high up top bun. Headband is simple out of made of black wire with simple silver stars on the side. Another pair of two hair clips, which seems to be like floral inspired. They're just round. <laughs> you can't really see it. It looks kind of off. I don't know. This jacket type. I think it's a jacket, but it doesn't really look like one. But green and white stripe. It's just an open one, not too complicated. Another sleepy set. <laughs> I think this goes with the sleepy mask, but this is a wooly looking shoe slipper with sheeps on the front and with bows. It's so, so cute. I'm gonna be excited for the pajama fits. Another really, really good item. This one has a lot more details that you can see from the front. I don't know if you can see it here that well, but a lot of glasps. Again, gold details, which we love. A little leather strap with dark red details here on the side. This is so, so pretty. I love these. And these are also up there, my favorites. Some simple white sneakers with dark blue lacing. Some more grandma looking loafers. Some blue skybound heels, even though they don't seem to have heels. This one also interesting, some white pointy shoes with green details. Some more schoolgirl looking shoes. These ones I really like. They're kind of Mary Jane's with big beige looking bows on it, plaid impression. Cause there's a plaid pattern on there. I really like these. I'm excited to get those. Same as for these. Simple, cutesy, very, I live in the farm, just a <laughs> farm area kind of shoes. White Mary Jane's with also clasps on the side white sneakers, some lilac-y muted purple 
heels. These are quite high, but I like the stripe in the front. They're very unique looking. A few pair of socks that kind of sag. I don't know. I just don't think the saggy sock is for me. I'm not the biggest fan, but I do like the ruffles on the top and then the pearls, but I like the messy look. Like I said, it's just, I don't think this goes with that kind of messy look. So monochrome stripe socks. Rouge and Verdant socks, so it's green. It's very Christmassy. Green ruffles with a bow and then very bright red sock. Tight, simple, white, thigh-high socks, which is simple black with three white stripes. Also some knee-high kind of socks with just simple black. Short ones with ruffles. These are kind of like your basics. You can just buy at Marquis. This top goes with the slippers. I don't know if I like the bib. <laughs> the bib style all right and i don't know but like a square colors that you would almost call it with a yellow undershirt with polka dots and then the overlay is kind of sheer with a yellow ruffle going around also same as here very roughly one speaking of which another bib style but i feel like this one is more elegant looking because of the color maybe which is a deep dark red on the side it has little pom-poms and on the front it kind of has a knitted material and then the <laughs> the bib i don't know what you call it okay collar it has roses on it i quite like this one it matches well with the pink in her hair this t-shirt starting mood has just a simple baseball tee type collar scheme with white and light green and then the decal is some eggs on toast this necklace has two layers with a little chain on it and then this one with a black beads the sunglasses i don't know what's supposed to be glimpse of sunset so it's kind of like a gradient of dark orange to yellow i like it i don't know if they're supposed to be flame shaped or what this is because it looks like Batsmaru. you know the Sanrio character <laughs> so it reminds me of this white scrunchie but forgotten hair tie but it just goes on the wrist this one i really like a layered bracelet once again but it kind of like clasps into one so it's three different strings, two thin one and one bigger one. And then the bigger one has stars and the hearts, bigger beats on it. Very cute. Same as for this bracelet has, I think, two chains, but it goes together into one clasp. So it's kind of like a, a stack set. So one really thin chain and the other one a little bit thicker with one flower on it. The matching short for the whole pajama sheep set. So it's the same colors with the polka dots in the yellow. The bottom frillies with the sheep dancing and also some flowers on there. Another skirt is this one. Very, very pretty. I think there's also a dress that goes with that maybe but it goes from a dark deep blue to a lighter blue in the gradients falling stars type going over the flare double layer the skirt has the bow like it's cute then for the pants also a really cool type style on the side like a lot of buckles and chains and straps and everything on it and then a belt on the top with also another buckle so you can Oh, and so you, can, so you can add something else, but I don't think that's happening, right? This one is Dreamwalker. Simple white. I think it's supposed to go together with this one because it has the green on one side of the strap and the other one is red. Other than that, it's just a simple white cropped hoodie. These shorts, Lively Youth, I quite like. These are... Oh, these have a special name. I forgot. <laughs> but they're basically like workout shorts. They're simple black and then details are pink. And it kind of has like a line going around and all the way up. Because I think there's like a little cut here on the side. These gloves are black leather with an opening. But they do have like a bunch of straps. Even though the top seems more shiny than the bottom, which is an interesting material use. Floral stroll, really cute sandal type heels, basically all strappy, but they put flowers in it. And I think the flower details really pulls this, this whole item together. I think it's very beautiful and very summery looking because it comes together like, oh, it's so pretty. I love using this one. Fluttering Wishes is a really poofy dress. I have not seen anyone use this one yet. I don't think I even saw it in the source. I don't know what it says in here, but maybe I missed it. Who knows? But it is a minty bluish. And then the underskirt is kind of a ivory type of white. There's a lot of royally elements here. We have the ruffles on the top. We have a big bow on the front. It kind of goes into a V shape with the materials. And then it flares out again to almost a curtain style overlay. And I think these are wishing cranes on the front. So maybe they go around. Because there's no decal here, you can see the wishing cranes, which I thought was quite of a nice detail. Next up, a bestseller's crown. A baseball hat with a text on it, but it's like Nikki text, so you can't read it. It's like simlish, I guess. I don't know what it says. 
Oh, here yeah, with the ins inscription Marquise Boutique. I guess that's how you write that in the Nikki language. Some simple yellow socks, simple braids, but one is in the front, one is in the back. Also kind of like that. These hairstyles are kind of basic, but I guess that's what you get for just like a shop with coin items. So just straight hair with bangs. More clothing is this jacket. It's very Christmassy again, especially with the Nordic elements here on the sleeve that kind of flare out. The top has, I think, a vague motif of flowers with a bow, and then the pockets also have bows on it and there's ruffles. I don't think I like this one. All right, it's too Christmassy without being Christmas, but I guess something for everyone. This one is a little bit more bold. It has the pointy arms here, very, very cropped, very <laughs> leathery fake leather and then it has two tiny little zippers here that go to nowhere i think this one might be combined with this top which is just a simple yellow tank top with three stars on the front kind of i can see those two go together i guess because of the black parts here wisteria longing is very very ruffled and puffy it looks like she's wearing suspenders but she's not i guess the ruffles just end here at the weird spot and then poofy on the side here. I don't know, but I like the color. It's kind of like light purple. Orange Rebel is also one of my favorite items. I would love to see dye colors for this because I don't think orange is my thing, but it's very strappy bra, very fitted. And then on the bottom, it has a strap and it's like some skin showing as much <laughs> as there already was. It's very pretty, very unique looking. This skirt has two layers. It's quite long, has a bow in the front on the belt and the bottom has darker purple elements as well because the rest is kind of light purple with again i think some sort of element here that i can't really tell what that is free spirit are fishnet tights classic you would love to see that same as for midnight bloom some high fitting sheer tights that kind of like stop here but have a lace element this hair bow polka dot modern trends i don't know if i like it i don't like polka dots that much can't help it but i like that the inside of the ribbon has a, the same color it kind of mixes up the elements a little bit this really cute classy simple black dress with a cutout here on the top and also here at the bottom with two straps on each side or it might be connected but i think these are two straps so interesting fit but i like how they how they made it look same as for snow light leather i think it kind of matches the skirt i was talking about mm, it kind of looks cheap i think i like the top part with the tied straps and then the big snowflake kind of jewel on the front and then it just goes down but the jewel over it kind of makes it look cheap i guess i don't know it's not my favorite then this jacket with the puff sleeves and then it's dark green. The elements on the sleeves have kind of like a gold rose on each side. And to cinch it in at the waist, there is a strap that goes around which seems to have also gold details as well as gold buttons. A military type hat, is that what you call it? Um, which is fake leather and also a little decal of some gold elements, which I can't really see to see what it is. A badge on the head's brim, but I'm not sure. Of the morning sun, I guess that's what it is. Sunrise. Another choker. I don't know which one I like better. I think they're both got their own charm to it, but it also has some holes in it. And then the bigger one in the front that kind of connects the two parts together. It's a different, different look a little bit. This hair straight side part framing pieces in the front and lastly for this category we have a lot of pearls going around kind of layered in three tiers which quite like that one as well that was definitely our biggest category are you still <laughs> are you still holding are you still there you guys <laughs> moving on to dear friends i don't know what this is supposed to be for category skilled hunter starting off bracelet again this fits more into the fishy category because one of the bracelets is a shark that kind of like goes around her arm the other one seems to be a cuff with a bow i am a big fan of asymmetric items i just don't see that much in real life so i like using that in my fashion games especially when it comes to asymmetric sleeves or socks or when it dresses like half long half half not whatever front or back or sides well this is a very very good contender hair clips pearly dots two little pearly clip-ins and then one regular hair clip this crimson snowstorm top which has the biggest trail in the back <laughs> more of a military fit i think this goes with those boots because i see the uh the cuffs are very big and fuzzy kind of matches those boots and asymmetric colors it has a tie and then like a lot of details here so i just wish it didn't tuck into the shorts because as you can see it kind of flares out a little bit more there's more details to it but i can't see that because of 
I don't know, it's tucked for whatever reason. A bracelet, which is very subtle. You can't even see the details. It's called Lucky Nut. It just looks like a simple bracelet, but as you can see, it has like four beads on it. And then on one side, it's kind of more braided and the other side is more smooth. Guardian Pendant is one of my favorite items from what I've used so far. It's very looks like mine because it's just like a gold necklace with a little sparkly gem on it at the bottom. I love the subtle makeup like this, especially for necklaces. Makeup Spring Breeze is part of the green outfit dress. Some crane earrings, I think. Seems to be a wish crane in a little circle in a golden type earring. Ribbity Hoppity is a shirt based on characters from the main story, which I think is really cute. I just don't like the color, how it cuts in like that. But I like the gradient and I really like the decal on the front. And I guess the pocket with a little frog hand on it is also like the frog prints kind of cute. Earring, simple, green, two hearts with gold. And then there is a sunflower in there. Bracelet is also hidden. It's a stack of two, a minty and a pink one. But if you see here, one of them, ha they both have the little flower blossom and then the peaches is dangling off there, which would be so irritating to wear, but it looks cute. So thank God Nikki doesn't go fine. <laughs> Hair piece is a little floral blossom type. It kind of goes together with this whole set with the Dress Peachy Fellowship. This one is from the Gold Coin Gacha. You can just kind of pull with this with coins. It's not too difficult, I hope. It's half white, half slight pink, very subtle gradient. And then there are these peach tree leaves branches on there. Very pretty, a little ruffle at the bottom. And then the strap is, I think, made out of flowers, either beads or fabric knotted. Can't really tell from here, but this dress I really, really like. Another pin. Mm, I don't know if I like it. So it's kind of like a, a circle. <laughs> what do you call that? With a blue flower and then two pieces were on the side. Sneakers would have a little bit of a hiker vibe to it. It's blue with yellow. I don't know if I like the strappy part of the laces here, but sneakers are sneakers going together with bouncy blue pants. I've not seen these, but these are kind of sweatpants that cinch at the ankle here, kind of puff out here. And then one side has a design, the other side is just solid blue, and then the details are yellow. And I think these socks go with there too, is white whirlwind. There's a decal on the side, but I can't tell what it is. I'm not quite sure, but it goes together with Riverside Run, which is also here. I, I don't know what, what the design is. Oh, look, she that matches with the uh, with the earrings. These are the, um, the triangle warning sign earrings. It's on the zipper here as well. This design is pretty cool because it zips down here as three colors. And then the there's a stripe from the shoulder down. And then the arms, they kind of zip open so you can kind of see some skin. And at the bottom, there's more different color gradients. This one is really cool. This is a really nice item. I would have loved to see this outfit to be another electrician outfit, if I'm being too optimistic here. You know, if they're gonna change it, that'll be cool. Competition are some, are these creepers? Is that what you call them? Maybe. <laughs> some black ones, as you can see, they're kind of low cut and then they have two straps on the front with buckles on it. It's pretty cool. Earrings with a, just a flag. It means dedicated to the carnival. Whatever that means. I don't really like these as much. Friendship Messenger is a hat you get later on in the store, like quite far in. It's cute. Would I wear it? No. It's like a messenger type hat with a pin on it. Resembling friendship, you know, it's <laughs> badge of friendship. I don't know. Then this hat is kitty fluff. It's a kind of a beret, but it kind of looks like it's about to fall off her head. But the really cute part is that the bow, you can barely see because it's on the other side. There's a really dark bow and on the bow is a little kitty hat. It's really cute. Called shirt cat, which is a type of cat in the game. You have a few different ones. All the animals kind of look like our real life animals, but they kind of are a little bit different and they have kind of a different name. So I think that's supposed to be a um, resemblance of the real life kitties that we have. Two Choo whistle. Don't even get me started. What is this? <laughs> this is a hat, which is pretty big. Half of it is red, half of it is black. I think it has probably some soft type of material, what it looks like. And then the big, the big, mm, the big piece on the front is a button with either like fast piece trail or wings. I don't know. Mm, I don't know with golden rim details. Blue flower dye is a really cute bag. It looks like a vacation bag. Very subtle detailing here with the keychain, but it knits together. And I really like the design here on the bag itself. 
amateur aftertaste is the last one here, which is a dress. I really <laughs> I don't like this kind of style. But again, I think uh, there's something for everyone in here. Very formal looking, kind of asymmetrical six buttons though, and it opens up so you can see her white skirt underneath. And then she is wearing a top underneath here, which I think is more fitting. And then the sleeves are long and then the cuffs and everything, the details have this, um, oh, I forgot the name of that pattern, but it's a fancy looking pattern, okay? <laughs> Last one in this category is Gossip Hub. We have a necklace, which is also supposed to be, I think in the sharky kind of theme. You can't really tell here, but you can see it on top. The little piece that's left over from buckling it is the shark head. How cute is that? I think it's cute. I just don't know what it's doing in this category. Warm brown eyebrows. Uh, Arrow Ma Lily's heart is lashes. Again, for the makeup, you gotta watch my other video so I can preview it better because this is just like the default skin tone. Confession lace, quite long dress, puffy sleeves, but the cuffs go a little bit higher this time. It's very, uh, little house on the prairie, you know? <laughs> Ethereal midnight, some high cut socks, which look a little pretty plain, but the top has a really nice little lace detail with some small elements there as well. Gang rules interesting name with some shorts that are actually so silly looking four buttons it looks like an elastic waistband some pockets for the inside is light brown and then a checkered pattern of dark brown but more of a tomboy type of cut instead of like short shorts and i think this is the same one but just a different color being a sage green with dark green in here still the same pattern and this one doesn't have the buttons but it does have suspenders that are very thin looking. You could have made that one a little bit thicker, but I like the coral or like the little tree element on the side that's embroidered in there. It's quite nice. Rosy dance skirt. I really like this one. It's red. It's long, but not too long, I think. And then the details is really pretty regal looking with some roses. And then the bottom is a few layers of white tears and then frillies and ruffles and elements. Gala crystal is a headband with some pearls that kind of look zigzag over all the way and then a pin on the side this one is quite pretty some football shoes okay <laughs> this is a bit random now which look like they have built-in socks and it has the little the little sucky parts at the, at the bottom that's really interesting and a top which i would say is matching because of the color but i don't think you would wear those kind of shoes with that off the shoulder which we don't see that often so far with frills with a little rim of light green the pattern on the rest of the top is some floral rose type but very subtle looking and then the waist has a green strap and it flares out from there it's quite like it's supposed to be daisies golden daisies i like it then ceremony I guess this one is very it's very time princessy looking top i think and the top has a really high collar it has that one little almost a little napkin that sticks out i forgot the name of those as well and at the bottom a little uh, cinching here from the waist down with a v and then it kind of flares out short in front long in the back the sleeves are puffy with tight fitting rest of the sleeve and then the cuffs have frillies that move towards up the arm a lot going on don't hate it though and I, I mean the top hat we're still thinking top hats here. I think that would look quite well together. The necklace here is also quite pretty. I think it has the picture of another flower in there. You can't really see because of the lighting, but I don't know if you can see it from the picture down here either. But this one is also gold, has some subtle pearly details in the chain, which I like is a nice element. And then the last one in this category is Fairy Heart, which are a collection of silver and gold rings with one of them being a gold one with a really big red crystal in there, I guess. I don't really like this one as much either. That was chapter six already, I guess what you want to call it. So moving on to seven. Fluttering hearts, chiming breeze, short hair, classy, cute. I like the cut. If I were to ever cut my hair, I feel like that length is kind of cute because it kind of like flares in, right? And the bangs is quite nice and I like the color. Starry Vigil, a very simple dress with double layers. I think like for me, when a dress has tulle, it kind of always just looks kind of cheap. This one does also, especially because it's also the waistband. But I do like the colors and I do like the whole starry vibe. So I don't know, I'm just gonna let it slide. The frillies on the top are really nice and then it kind of cuts in but still has something built in to not be too revealing. I think these are heart shaped buttons and then really thin straps on it. Cutie Dragon, oversized sweater dress with, I think, it has Kylo on it, the dragon where you redeem the parts on with the little wind stars that are cleansed. I think that's such a cute detail. Again, merch potential, merch potential. Very cute. Fleeting Oath is a, another office tie because it has a little tie, but the tie is a little bit messy, dark green, and then the tie is either a dark blue or like a bluish green with some sort of 
truck pattern on it. I can't really tell it that much. Makeup, eyebrows, Nimbus Dreams, Rose in Blossom lips, feathery sway, um, eyelashes, delicate heart strength, other eyelashes, dreamy ripples, eyeshadow, crystal gaze lenses. Didn't we already see these? Midsummer Shade. This one goes with the peach dress. I'm wondering why this is in the other category, but it's a see-through little overlay top that again goes with the dress type. Then the arms have a little cutout and then it ruffles and flares, which I think is a nice detail because you also have a cutout in the front with a high sit collar and it's kind of cropped. Snowflakes calling are really pretty earrings, which kind of droop down. So we have a bow that's minty. Seems to be some sort of snowflake, I guess. It's the name Snowflake Calling and the underneath there is a little jewel hanging from there. Stellar Leaves is a garter with lace and a lot of change and golden details. I love it when there's so many details put into it. Like this is so unrealistic to wear and be hiking around and climbing whatever Nikki's doing but I I like it in these types of games. Chestnut Ser Serenade is one that I felt very mixed about but I guess I like it better. In the beginning I didn't really like it but I think now it's kind of growing on me and with the orange top you know the really cropped one kind of could be a fit together. Silent Whisper, another choker with a snowflake on it and another necklace attached to it with another snowflake that kind of like goes down here. Then a few new items I think are so, so cute. Sub-Zero Elegance is this big, big fluffy pink coat and the sleeves are very puffy and then on the arm it has a heart. I can't wait to have this item. It kind of is part of a set so it goes with these boots which is so cute. White boots with pink details at the bottom and the heel is also pink and on two buckles and then the strap is also pink and has some sort of light pink and dark pink pattern which seems to be floral but I'm not quite sure. And the lastly in this category is Winter Love Song. Again, simple long hair with just one braid on the side. Next up, Sound of Memory. We have a few more outfits. So these are also mostly going to be ability outfits, I think. With our first one being Floral Memory. You kind of unlock this later when you get to like the second world part, which is Stonewood. It's cute. It also has a dye color. I like that for the dye colors, it gets a different pattern on the dress. I think I read this one is really pretty, but I do really like blue as well. And she basically uses it to... Not the floating outfit, which is the classic one where you can kind of like glide of things, but this is like actually gliding. So when you use it, you kind of spawn this big flower that she sits on. You probably have seen it in the trailer as well. So her hair is tied up and it's kind of like curly. And on the side, I think she has braids that go into the ponytail, which is a nice detail. The dress is short-ish at least on the top, um, simple, but still a lot of ruffle. And then the dress part is kind of like falling stars almost, like florally falling stars, because you can see they have the stripes behind there. And at the bottom, you have all of these flowers and night sky vibes, really nice. The tie is simple, just a blue gradient. The shoes have the, we like that. <laughs> I don't know about this part in the front. I like the buckle, but I guess you gotta be different sometimes, so it works. Gloves half see-through at the cuff here with a pearl bracelet attached to it and then solid gloves here. Necklace full of detail, big bow with pearl accents again and then a little pin. Earrings, same story, is pearls, a pin and a little bow. I mean, it got a good gallon match all together. And then the hair bow is really nice because it has some sort of starry element in there. You can see it slightly. There's a sparkle in there, very pretty. Moving on to my favorite items in the game. Bubble Voyage has the cutest dress. She's supposed to be like some sailor type of girl. Again, you kind of use this to float around. You unlock this basically like in the first five minutes of the game which i don't mind <laughs> it has a dye color in green but i'm really hoping to also see a pink version because this dress in pink i think would solve every problem i would ever have okay the love <sighs> yeah i think a lot of people have seen this already so i'm gonna kind of go th fastly through this one the dress i just think is my favorite because i really like the bow in the back and also i don't even like the accessories that much <laughs> I think the hat is kind of nice and also I like the cuffs here but the big piece for me is the bow in the back. Like, I love how it flows when you when you drop down, it's really nice. Then Blossoming Stars is one of the gacha outfits. I did pulls for this on my channel as well and I didn't get the dress unfortunately but this one already has. Look you can see all of the four recalls. So the original is going to be green. I'm going to be showing these close up as well. Then the second one is a pink dye color. Hmm. And on the top here, you can see it has a little bit of a different design. The next up is a dark blue 
with light blue elements and then the last one is a yellowy color with orange hair so i'm expecting all the outfits to get that eventually but i guess i already did that for these because they got just going to be released at the first first time i guess then the close-up these are very like gold and just flurry bushy items one thing good to know is if you um evolve an outfit to be like all different colors you will unlock all of these items again but just like the different shades which is kind of nice if you want to just style your nikki when you're just wandering around you can just use all of these items there too the other gacha dress is flutter storm i really like this one i think this has to be like my favorite of the of the bunch so far it's so pretty it's fully a butterfly theme the hair is really pretty so we also have some light colors for this one already with the first one being red and black hair Hmm, what do we think? I, I do like it. The other one is in green, which I also really like, and her hair is blonde for this one. And the last one is supposed to be purple, lilac, pastel type. Very, very pretty. This one also has some beautiful pieces. Mostly just butterfly inspired, sparkly silver more of. The dress has a lot of butterfly elements. They're, they're not very subtle in this one. It's like everywhere. Everywhere they could put a butterfly, they basically did the same material on the arms, very sparkly and stuff. The hair, very pretty, very long, whimsical looking, tied back, but still messy and loose. It's very majestic looking. A little thing that goes around right silver with elements and more butterflies necklace is really really cool because as you can see in the preview it has like these long pieces they, they drape over the shoulders like all the way down here i think that's so nice you can't really see it that well but it goes like all the way down here it's very pretty i think this is like one of the best necklaces so far earrings again butterfly sparkly choker butterfly sparkly and sock is a gradient giving kind of frozen and the side here also has guess what butterflies all right <laughs> Our other ability outfit is Symphony of String. Again, this one you unlock like kind of later into the story. I think like a few days in probably. This one is a performance one. You might have seen it in the latest trailer where you kind of have to play this mini game kind of where you have to play these instruments this outfit is adorable okay she has a little top hat with a musical note in musical note golden earrings with little gems stuck in there some gloves of course with an opening but they're very like high rise <laughs> is that what you call it high rise socks or gloves the hair very pretty as well it's pink classic nikki long flowy a little twisted to the back and then it has little bows in there the dress is so so adorable it's so instrumental it has the music notes on the side it has the little things that you often see on like a violin or something the dress is kind of overall type i will say but then in a dress form because she's wearing like a white shirt underneath with a lot of flares and bows and ribbons on it socks same story very frilly very cutesy and then the shoes are also really nice classy lolita almost type heel with a strap here with music notes again and then the straps in the front yeah i'm excited to get this one again to see the die colors for it because i don't think they've released that one yet carnival ode is not an ability outfit so i don't know what's doing here i've not seen the set yet <laughs> all right we have some sort of wolf cut in blonde a messenger hat that's side all right it's interesting i like that it's kind of like uh off of off this <laughs> off the side of the head of the shoulder a necklace i think this kind of goes with those earrings that i didn't like <laughs> very chunky necklace another pin that's on the other side this fuzzy top that's cropped and has an open collar with two buttons mixed feelings mixed feelings pants i like they kind of flare out slightly at the bottom and then one side has the collar stripes that you saw on the top and the necklace as well and then a big double layered belt with some chains on it and last but not least some shoes these are cute pretty thick shoes with some jewels on the side and then shiny black simple I wonder where you can find this. Looks like it's just going to be a chest set. And then our last one in here is Flowing Colors. This one is also from the Gacha. It's a four star. Not an ability outfit, but it is so, so cute. She's a little painter and her backpack is adorable. Again, merch potential. Write that down. We have the paintbrushes. We have this Momo sticker in the front. And here she's probably keeping like her paints. And then here she's keeping... I don't know her her drawing pad or something so this is the original and then the dye colored for hmm i haven't seen it yet hmm i don't know i don't know maybe i like the hair but i love the yellow it's very halloweeny yellow with uh purple i guess for a close-up we have the paint palette 
kind of hat. A lot of these details are so subtle and cute. As you can see in the earrings, one half is the painter palette and the other half is brushes. So cute. The hair, little braids to kind of flare out the painter palette color with dripping paint. Then these sleeves are kind of cool because half of it is see-through and it has a little bird. It seems like a mini airplane on it or fish. I don't know what it is. Then this is like not cute on its own, but if you style it with the top, I think it kind of works. It's giving kindergarten teacher a little bit, but the pattern is quite unique and each button has almost a different color and it has pockets. The shorts are kind of nice. They're green checkered with our cream light cream. No belt, but two little straps here and no pockets, but it has pink little buttons on it. And it seems that the side is like open. As you can see here, a white kind of tennis skirt fabric. But I don't know how far that goes back. I think only like a little bit on the side. The socks, cute. It has little stamps on it. White strap, blue strap, little black. There's a lot of details for socks. Pretty neat. And then some flats, trace of the pen, light pink with dark pink tips here. And then lastly, the backpack, which I thought was so cute. Let me see the skirt. Okay, yeah. So they're shorts, but this part looks like a tennis skirt with a blue rim, which is a cute design choice. It makes the outfit look a little bit more interesting. I didn't even notice that before. Moving on, no regrets left. Even if the only side remains, the fluttering hem remembers the one who gave it their all. What? Sneakers, simple white, blue, purplish, lilac lace with a small little patch here in pink. Some classy heels, which seems to be matching that peach set once again because of the little cutout here with the white, the little leaves, the pearls, and then the pink accent, I think. Black hair, peachy puffs with, oh, this is really cute. So her hair is parted in the middle and then half of it is like a bun shape of a bow with a braid that goes around. Again, I feel like that's part of that set. Again, with the socks too, white with floral blossom and a pink little trace on the top. Gloves are white see-through ruffles with, I think it's roses, what it seems to be. It's a really high score. <laughs> you probably, probably want to pull for that. Misty clouds, half up, half down, long kind of wavy hair with a bun. I like that. I like half up, half down. I think it looks really cute. The hair is short for the so mature short hair. So I like the little frilly in the front makes short hair look a little bit more special. Floral rhythm is another top, singes in, kind of cropped. I like it. I think it kind of dated at this point. I've seen tops like that too much, but they were kind of cheap, so maybe that's what it is for me. But I like the pattern. It has this florally type. <laughs> Everything is floral pattern on here. Okay, it's, it's purple bluish with bluish white floral. This dress, Wish Wind Whispers, you get this also later, I think in the story. I think it's pretty. All right, it's not my style, but it's very boho chic. It's, it, I don't know, it's done well. The top has like this cool pattern and then here we have another little stripe of pattern and then we have like three or four layers of just like layers <laughs> of the dress. This white dress goes with the jacket and then the the boots with the fuzz on it the boots with the fur just with the fur open cut out here subtle tight fitting pink detail like this dress is going to be so cute to have i'm very excited and lastly a white lace type of choker with the shape of little hearts and our last category in here is favorite little gifts clothing becomes a heartfelt gift weaving together the bonds of fate again what <laughs> Mini fishball hair. It's kind of goofy looking, but if you read the story, it kind of makes sense why it looks like that, but I still don't like it. It's half up, half up, half half down up. I don't know. She got four little braids and on one side is a little knot and then her bangs are out. It's, it's so weird. It's so weird. Spring, oh, I can't pronounce that. Quipo, Kupao is a Chinese dress, I think. It's quite pretty, tight fitting. As a slit on the side, I think it's a quite long, it comes all the way down and it just looks really, really pretty. Then these sincere greeting gloves, which is a simple black ones with pearls around the wrist area. Academy Tribute is more of a formal top once again, because it just closes up really high and it has a little brown vest over it. The other details are dark blue and then the top itself is white. I think these kind of go well together. Then we have some more makeup, dainty yellow lenses, light tangerine lips, Sia mist skirt, which is also, I think, a Chinese inspired skirt based on the buttons here. And I guess the cloud design here on the side. Sweet pink top is just a t-shirt with a bow ruffle on the sleeve. 
a little drip of melting ice cream, I assume, on the collar and then a decal of three ice creams with some cherries and stars with it. Another handheld is Purple Tots, which is supposed to be 11 fringes, again, like the in-game kind of lavender. Handheld is quite cute. And then lastly, surprise box are present earrings, which I vividly remember wearing for Christmas some, some year ago, so. On to our last category, which is Hall of Shining Lights, the pumpkin carriage is the swan has its own whole category again just because this one only has one i feel like they're gonna expand here quite it's probably why they designed it like this so they can easily add like items everywhere it's pretty neat it's the fairy tale swan set this is like my second favorite from the gacha i think i prefer the butterfly one but this one's also really pretty swan set a lot of feathery feathery items so we have the original which is in pink our second one is in light blue and she has gray hair the third one is Mistfire, very pretty. She is in red and gold and her hair is dark. And lastly is Truth, which is more of a galaxy print, which I think is going to have that reflective effect to it, which I'm, it's going to be so good. But you're probably going to have to upgrade all of these before you get the last one. Wait, can I see the dress in here? Yeah. Oh, look at that dress. That is stunning. That is so, that's so much better than the original. <laughs> Let me have a closer look at this. So you have the blonde hair, the dress, which is still pretty, but those dyes, those dyes, man, those are good. Shoes are with pink bows and silver sparkles. You can see them even sparkle in the preview with some chains and some gems on there. The sleeves are very pretty. This is exactly the kind of sleeve that I like. Long, lacy, goes over the one finger and then like goes into like a feather shape on the top. The earrings, very big, very Swarovski kind of earring with the, the swan and then the little feathers on it at the bottom. Hairpiece, very big, very feathery. It also has three dangles with stars on the side. The ring is very subtle, but it's kind of like a star with a pink gem. The tights are white and silvery, kind of long. The necklace, two layers of silver with two little details of silver stars with two dangles and one is, I think the bottom one is the heart and the other one's like a little bell. And that's this whole set. That was the whole companion, you guys. Now for the ones interested, I'm going to be showing just the preview of the colors without it being like, looking so bad with the preview pictures. So this is the pretty one again. Oh, you get photo props too. Oh, you get the post as a reward. Oh. All right, so this is the blue dress. Very, very pretty. This is the, oh, that is gorgeous. I'm shocked. <laughs> I am shocked. That is so pretty. And then our last one here is the other one with, again, the galaxy. You can literally see the stars falling. I am shocked. And the back piece in the hair. Wow. All right. Well, that's one. For the butterfly one, we've seen the original. Let me show you green or red first. She does that animation. She probably unlocked that after you uh, evolve here. She's very, very gorgeous. The third one in green with the blonde hair. I'm a sucker for it. <laughs> and our last one is a dream chance. Wow. <laughs> wow. All right. That well, we're going to have to do pulls for that someday. It's going to be so expensive to evolve. Then title shark. This is the original and this is the watermelon version. I think this one is so adorable. I love that they changed up the concept because I felt like shark is very specific, but the hat with the watermelon effect and then the top here and then the socks with the seats adorable flowing colors is the artist one and the recolor is this i just don't think these colors work together that well maybe if the shorts were yellow instead of pink i think that would have been better for me but not my favorite sweet jazz nights this is the original and then this is the dyed version the polka dots are only on the apron the other i guess is here too i like the color combination i just don't think this is my my thing bubbly voyage has the original in blue and the dyed one is in green the pattern changes a little bit on her top chest part and the, the top here, I really like that the ribbon has two colors on her hat. Very stunning in green. Can't wait to see the pink version if it ever comes. Okay. <laughs> the Bye Bye Dust one, I love, 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 love the recolor for. This one goes really well with the top hat, let me tell you. Then the fishing one, Rippling Serenity, is this one. And then the dye color has some sort of dark sparkle in here. So it could, maybe the vibes, Galaxy, maybe the vibe is deep under the ocean. 
that's what I was getting from it, but I prefer this one because if I move it, you see the stars keep the background, right? That's nice. nice. Then fully charged, the original is in orange and then the dye color is in white, silvery, shiny, 80s type. <laughs> and the hair is a really cool gradient, so I thought that was pretty, pretty cool. For some of these outfits, I cannot show you because I haven't completed them on this account. So we're just going to have to go with uh, what I have here. Rebirth Wish is the originals in green. The dyed one is in, in brown. I prefer this one, but I said that earlier. Same as for the hometown breeze, which is in the icy bluish type of outfit. This was a very long video, so thank you for the ones that set all the way through. I really, I really do appreciate it. I hope I gave you a little bit better insight on all of the items. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing because I do make a bunch of Nikki videos and other fashion games if you're into that type of thing. That's my whole channel's about. I'm very excited for a release and seeing if they're gonna add any more items, but until then, this is everything there is, which is still like quite a lot. Like I said, it's like over like 450 pieces, so I'm not complaining. I'm hoping that the die colors won't be too expensive or that single items are going to be dyed, but we shall see. Thank you all so much for watching till the end. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!